I'm so excited to share with you that I'm about to start another through hike. This time I'm going to be hiking the coast to coast here in the UK and I want to share some information about it as well as my hiking plans and what you can expect from me in regards to my videos over the coming months. Anybody who follows me here already knows how much I love sharing my hiking experiences. So I will of course be documenting this hike and putting it on YouTube. For anyone that doesn't know, I'm also over on Patreon. I often get asked how you can help or support this channel and Patreon is the perfect platform because you can donate as little as the cost of a cup of coffee a month and in return you'll receive extra content Plus, it's a great place where I can dedicate the time to really answer your questions, get to know you better. I post a lot of behind the scenes so you can get to know me better too. Whilst on trail, I'm going to be posting photos, video clips, blog posts daily to Patreon. So you'll literally get to come along with me and experience it. So head to patreon.com forward slash Mary Mansfield. Take a look at the different options and there's a video there explaining exactly how everything works. Plus, when you sign up, you will have access to two years worth of extra content. For those not able to support me financially, I will be sharing the videos of the trail on YouTube, as well as doing additional videos, which I will explain a bit more about later. So if you haven't already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss any of my videos when I upload. Legendary Fell Walker. Guidebook writer and illustrator Alfred Wainwright created this concept of hiking from the Cumbrian coast in England to the North Sea. In 1972, he completed the trek of his own devising and crossed the whole width of England. This created the more popular Wainwright's coast to coast path from St. Bees to Robin Hood's Bay, which I will be following, except for just a few little adjustments that are on private land, which can no longer be crossed. Surprisingly, this is not yet an official trail, despite it being one of the most popular long distance footpaths in England. About 10,000 people attempt it annually. However, it has recently been announced just last month that this will now become a new national trail. Natural England are gonna work alongside partners to improve this popular route and are hoping to have this finished by 2025. So over the next three years, there is going to be massive improvements to this trail, which is so exciting. This current network of paths will cover around about 190 miles and is said to be a magnificent snapshot of the country. At the start, it's tradition to collect a pebble from the sea and carry it all the way to the end to place in the North Sea during which I would have spent two thirds of my time in the national parks of Lake District, Yorkshire Dales and the North Yorkshire Moors. At times it also joins the Lake Wake Walk and the Cleveland Way and even crosses the Pennine Way. Along the way I will cross high fells, past large lakes, walk through beautiful woods and no doubt get soggy feet hiking over the bleak moorlands. If I'm lucky I might see red squirrels, otters and deer. I'll pass through quaint villages, cross bridges over busy motorways, come to old mill ruins and mines, disused quarries, ancient Iron Age sites and also mysterious stone circles and I cannot wait. It doesn't claim to be a particularly difficult trail, however done in one go it's certainly going to be a challenge and I'm sure it will make for a tough walk. There are sections where you're going to be on ridges and cliff tops which present their own dangers so care is of course necessary and some sections are also quite remote. The biggest problem seems to be people losing their way, particularly in the Lake District due to poor visibility in bad weather as well as lack of signposts. I am sure that having the right clothes, wearing comfortable shoes and being equipped for all weathers, having maps and also being knowledgeable about navigation will hugely improve anybody's chance of success of not only completing the hike but doing so safely and with a smile on your face. Now it doesn't require any special skills such as mountaineering or climbing however I'm sure it will require a lot of determination because after all this is Britain and the weather can dampen anybody's spirits but once finished you will have ascended and descended the equivalent height of Mount Everest. 
For most people, the coast to coast takes a minimum of 14 walking days, which is an average distance of just over 14 miles a day or 23 kilometers. Some take a lot less, whereas others prefer to take even longer and often build in a few rest days. The itinerary that I've planned is 12 days without any rest days, <laughs> which I think will work well for me based on my fitness experience and the fact that I want to enjoy the trail and not just march through it too fast. I have analysed the terrain, the elevation and tried where possible to have short days on the tough sections and then alternate between shortened days and longer days. My longest day is going to be about 25 miles and my shortest day is going to be 9 miles which works around available accommodation because I'm going to be staying in B&Bs, hostels and also hotels along the way. I decided to hike it at the end of summer heading into autumn so there's still enough daylight to enjoy the scenery and plus I prefer to avoid the busyness of summer and prefer it when the temperatures are a bit cooler but not too cold. After this video I plan on following this up with a what's in my pack so you can see exactly what I'm going to be taking with me. Then I'm going to be sharing all the trail videos which will most likely be in three different parts due to the length of the trail but it will depend on how long the videos end up being. Included will be of course all the information about the different places along the way. I'm then going to do a video dedicated how I plan the walk, how I get to the trail, the itinerary, budgeting, mileage, everything like that. And then I also plan on doing one specifically about resupply options, because what I'm gonna be doing is buying food along the way. So I'm gonna be able to show how and where to do this. And it will of course be vegan friendly. If you have any questions at all about the coast to coast, my plans for it, feel free to ask in the comments below. I will try and reply as soon as possible. Also, don't forget to head over to Patreon and join me there so you can share the experience with me while I'm out on trail. And I will look forward to sharing what I am hoping will be an amazing trail with you all. Goodbye.